New fitness challenges pop up all the time. And while most people have heard of challenges like 75 hard, a new challenge started just this year that spans from June 26th to July 19th, bringing a deeper meaning and motivation to getting out and getting active day in and day out. This is day two in a book. Day three is in a book. Day four, get it in. You guys out there today, let's get day five in. Let's go. Tusculum men's basketball head coach JT Burton enjoys a good workout, but not nearly as much as he enjoyed spending time with his niece, Jaquel Johnson. Jaquel, uh, she loved the game of basketball. That was her favorite sport. She was very athletic. Uh, she was full of energy. And when she, she could walk in a room with a smile and it would light the whole room up. She was a young girl that loved basketball. She was very, very family oriented. And uh, for something like this to happen with our family was kind of stunning. At 14 years old, Jaquel Johnson started experiencing headaches. An annoyance that most people can just sleep off proved life changing for Johnson and the people who loved her. But we went to Cozar and they did a CT scan and that's when they found out everything. It was very devastating, heartbreaking, gut wrenching. Uh, you would never want that for your child. You know, as parents, as a mother and a father, we are supposed to be able to fix everything. And at that time, we couldn't fix it. Diagnosed with incurable brain cancer, Johnson went through surgeries, rehab, and treatment that no one, much less someone as young as Johnson, should ever have to go through. Uh, Jaquil was a type kid she fought through it hard. To watch her go through that every day, learning how to walk, learning how to talk, learning how to do all those different things all over again, it kind of gave, put, put a different perspective on life for me because it helps me now, like, okay, when you're having a bad day, no, I think of her. So I got all these pictures. Um, when you uh, want to get sad and you want to feel sorry, if I want to feel sorry for myself, no, because well, the fight that she gave for those three years was unbelievable. Jaquel fought hard but lost her battle three years ago. Now, in an attempt to keep her memory alive, Burton has created the I Can Do All Things Fitness Challenge. We came up with June 26th was the day that she died, passed away, and then her birthday is July the 19th. So this year will be a 21st birthday. So that's what we came up with those two dates of trying to, you know, combine the two because, you know, it's almost like everybody has that dash mark, you know, between on that tombstone, but it's what you do in between it. And I think that her legacy will live on with that. You know, Coach Burton is my brother, and he's he's the biggest go-getter of Jaquel. You know, he's always going to keep her name alive. It, it'll never die down, also with us. So with this challenge, we challenge everybody because we know that health is wealth. And uh, I know that she would want this because she loves to exercise. While Jaquel's friends and family have gotten involved, so have members of the Tuscula men's basketball staff and team. Their support, something that Burton will never take for granted. It's incredible um, when you know, you know, these guys didn't really know Jaquel. I mean, they, you know, heard me talk about her or, you know, we have the annual, ga uh, annual game every year, play for Kale, and they know how, you know, we have this, you know, uh, we have a program for her and everything, but they really don't know. So for them to just do it and work at it and actually put some time into it, it means a whole lot to me. From her home state of Kentucky to the mountains of East Tennessee, Jaquel's legacy continues to live on. As Tusculum men's basketball head coach J.T. Burton and his family work to keep Jaquel's memory alive, they encourage everyone to snap a photo or video after working out between June 26th and July 19th and tag Clink and Twyla Johnson on Facebook for the I Can Do All Things Challenge.